Hare Krishna everyone. So I've been asked to tell you a little bit about the Bhakti portal and why we started it and kind of what it's all about. So I guess about four years ago I just had this really strong desire to uh, create um, online courses and I just wanted to be able to reach out to maximum numbers of people. I also found myself inspired to try to do things online especially me and my wife were inspired to try to study Bhagavatam online and we kept finding it so difficult to find a course that we could easily sign up for and just get stuck into. And so Srila Prabhupada explained we should study his books like a lawyer studies the law books. So it's not always so easy to do that. So I was thinking like this and then in the process of continuing to uh, think about it. I started to explore different things and but somehow I was just always so busy and it never really happened. So then the lockdown came and all of a sudden everything went online and everyone was online and we didn't really have such a big online presence at least in London so we did a few things and we tried to get some courses so that they could be online but that was the initial idea so with the Bhakti portal now um, we have at least uh, about four or five courses already online and there are more and we want to work with other devotees and, and other people who have things that they can share and put out and, and like that so that we can create a space where um, not only devotees but also people who are inspired by spirituality um, or the, the idea of the principle uh, of bhakti to come and to, and to um, get a taste of, of what the world of bhakti is all about. So if you, if you go to the Teachable site, then you'll see that there are many courses and I'm working with my very wonderful and dear friend Radhalanda Nishwara Prabhu, whom we call Radha for short. And um, he's done some really wonderful courses. He's an amazing musician and kirtanir, very inspirational. And he's done some really wonderful things on there for, for Murdunga and Harmonium. And we're working on some other, uh, other Harmonium courses. And also we're going to work on a Cartels course. I was just twisting his arm today to try to get that ready. Um, I've done a couple of courses on the Gita and I want to do a Gita summary and then already devotees are writing to me and saying oh when are you going to do the Bhagavatam because I did a Bhagavatam course some time ago so that's there Bhakti Shastri, the ISKCON Disciple course and there's also a course um, for uh, temp principles of temple administration which was done as part of the GBC college and as part of the standard curriculum for leaders within ISKCON who get trained up so you know the idea is to have it as a place a resource uh, for uh, not only devotees but as I said for new people who come so to that end we realized that just the portal itself wasn't going to be um, enough because then you need to attract people to it and how do you do that so what we, we did is we realized that actually um, we needed to create a social media presence and then I began to realize that actually in my heart of hearts what I feel is that the um, speaking like this and sharing Krishna consciousness sharing the principles of bhakti in some way is what I try to do best so I wanted to create a space where we can share out like that so so we have social media so we've got Facebook we've got Instagram and we've got YouTube and you know I'm just looking forward to the next year of just populating this and sharing and uh, our experiences and the teachings of bhakti in a way that are accessible for many people so we hope you enjoy uh, the bhakti portal we hope that it's something you can engage with and if you have any ideas then we want to work on courses that will inspire and engage and encourage you and help to lift you and move you forward in your spiritual life so this is just a short idea about the bhakti portal i hope it makes sense and it's all clear thank you very much Hare Krishna